Due to the recent decrease of available players in Eddie Howe and Newcastle United squad, we've had to look to the likes of the youth, the under-21 side, and players who we genuinely wouldn't play due to their quality. We've had 15-plus injuries and, of course, Tenali's suspension. These players are so key in Newcastle United. Our squad's been thinned down, and we are going to have to look elsewhere in the January market to bring in players, maybe temporarily, or maybe for a very, very long time. One that's always come up recently, and not just recently either. It is Calvin Phillips on a loan move and on a permanent Newcastle United are in need of a six, especially with Sandro Tonali out. Let's take a look at the news that's come up with Calvin Phillips today. How will he fit in Newcastle United? A little look on the player himself and what this means to other players like, of course, Bruno Gimaraes. It'll allow him to play up the pitch. But without further ado, people, let's get into the video. Right then lads and lasses, how we're doing and welcome back to the channel. First of all, it feels like I haven't done a video like this, like a daily sort of news video in a very, very long time. It's great to have you all back. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas, your Boxing Day, maybe not to the sort of game day of Boxing Day, but I hope you've all enjoyed your holidays, hope you enjoyed your time with your family. It's great to be back. If you could show me a little bit of appreciation, subscribe if you haven't already for daily news. And of course, like the video, it goes a long way. Honestly, it does. It pushes out with more people. I thank you very much for that. Now, without further ado, let's get into the news what we've been brought today. Of course, on Calvin Phillips. This news, that the one I'm going to touch upon now, actually come about yesterday, approximately 22 hours ago as I'm recording now. From Telegraph Football, Newcastle United are wanting to open talks to get Kelvin Phillips on loan to Newcastle United. It also says that we are confident we can seal the loan deal. Now, something we're going to get on later with too in the video is that he has an absolutely extortionate fee, or Manchester City won an absolutely extortionate fee for what would be a six-month loan deal, of course, until the end of the season. We'll get on to that later because that is genuinely scandalous for Manchester City. I can't believe they even want that much because he, he's... He will get onto his statistics, but he's barely played a minute for them. Anyways, like we said, Newcastle United are confident they can seal the loan deal of Calvin Phillips. Let's be real, he's not every single person's favourite, is he? But Newcastle United are interested, or not even interested, we do need a six, a CDM, a holder midfielder, however you want to say it. The pivot of the team. Not only does this allow Bruno Gimraes to move up the pitch into the attacking areas where he's absolutely superb at and where we create more as a whole team, where we can be more creative, where we can create more chances and score more goals and win more games. It's pretty self-explanatory. We do need a six and Calvin Phillips not in favour of Manchester City. There's what? At least five, six midfielders ahead of him. He's not even covered. I mean, he's got fantastic midfielders like... Rodri, Phil Foden could be classed as a midfielder. I know he's more so of a winger, but Bernardo Silva, yet again, more so of a winger. Kevin De Bruyne, Matthias Nunes, Kovacic, that six midfielders they would probably play ahead of him. Of course, them two are wingers with Bernardo Silva and Foden, but he's not in favour there whatsoever, is he? Newcastle, we're going to say this again, we, we do need a six. So let's Bruno go up. Bruno and Joel can have that fantastic partnership, what they did have last season as well. I am all for this, right? There is one thing though that stands in the way before we get on to even more news, likewise of the, the sort of transfer fee that they do want for the loan deal Manchester City. It's not just the fact that he is a good player. Of course, he's not played at Manchester City. They are an unbelievable team. And some people may say, well, if he's not good enough for Man City, why do we need to get him? Let's be real. We'll have fantastic ambitions, but we know we're not on the level of Manchester City yet. Calvin Phillips is a very good player. We've seen that. We've seen sort of glimpses of that at Manchester City. I know we barely have him, but glimpses is a very strong word. That's why, hence why we're using the word. But at Leeds under Marco Bielsa, he was very, very good. Some people may say sideways passing, but for me, he just is a very, very good six. Newcastle United need that right now. I'd be all for this. But the big one, would he fit in Eddie Howe's system? Is he even fit enough to fit in Eddie Howe's system? I don't like sort of body shaming, but he does look a bit chunky, right? And that's not body shaming whatsoever. He is in the industry of football. In football, you need to be an athlete. You need to have 5% body fat or something. For Calvin Phillips, he doesn't look fit enough. Like we know of Anthony Gordon when he first came to Newcastle, he said he wasn't fit enough to play for Anthony Gordon, a 20-year-old lad or 21-year-old lad, 22-year-old lad, 23-year-old lad, however old he is, I can't exactly remember. I believe he's 21 or 22 years old. Uh, he's absolutely he's absolutely fit, isn't he? I mean, he's rapid, he's skinny as. He said he wasn't fit enough to play for Newcastle. Then what does that mean about Calvin Phillips? I mean, of course, he is going to be playing as a six. He's not going to be all over the park. He's going to be staying in that defensive position. He will be progressing on, of course, though. I would love to see him in a Newcastle shirt, but... Yet again, is he going to be fit? Is he going to fit in the, the pressing, high-intensity 
A lot of games getting played, not so much now because we're at the Carabao Cup in the Champions League. Newcastle United. One thing about this deal, though, it's not going to be a long-term deal, is it? I believe it's just going to be a deal until the end of the season, of course. I don't believe we'll get him on a permanent because Sandro Tonali, who you know I rate so highly, is coming back. I believe it's the third or fourth game week. I, someone said that. I think it was Lee Raider from the Chronicle. Sorry if I've got that wrong. I think that's where he's from. Uh, actually posted a tweet about that. Sandro Tonali can fit in that six, no matter. But, but he can also play as an eight as well. Fantastic for footballer as we all know to shame what's happened but Calvin Phillips for right now it would be fantastic for Newcastle United now without further ado let's take a look at what Manchester City want for the six month loan deal for the sort of not permanent but what's the type of word just not permanent loan deal for a six month loan deal of course until the end of the season from January until the end of the season this is reported by Lee, Lee Ryder of the Chronicle Manchester City won £7.5 million for the loan move of Calvin Phillips to Newcastle United. This isn't a transfer fee, this is a six-month loan fee. Now, that is absolutely disgusting. This has given me flashbacks of when we couldn't pay, what was it, One was it £1 million for Hamza Chowdhury from Leicester? I, I think that, no, I'm pretty sure it was £1 million for Hamza Chowdhury from Leicester City. Oh, my God. I take this club for granted. Them days were absolutely disgusting. But £7.5 million for Calvin Phillips. Are you joking me, right? No, it's not a transfer fee. He, he, some teams probably wouldn't even pay that for him. Now, Johnny, he would go for a lot. But £7.5 million until the end of the season, that's ridiculous from Manchester City. From a player who's not in favour whatsoever, like we've just mentioned, if you want to take out Phil Ford and Bernardo Silva, that's three midfielders ahead of him. You've got one holding midfielder and two who you can basically count as two covers. You don't need a fourth one. Why would you want to loan him out for £7.5 million? Of course, it's going to help them in FFP, but it's going to absolutely ruin us. Where are we going to pull 7.5 million out for a loan deal like that when we may need to buy the likes of Lewis Hall in the January and uh, not the January transfer window in the next window coming but that Lewis Hall deal is a whole new sort of can of worms in itself oh we're actually going to buy me me harm our sort of FFP in sort of transfer windows to come but Calvin Phillips 7.5 million pounds as much as I want it to come to Newcastle the United, we may have to look elsewhere. We may have to do installments and sort of different deals. We may have to look for a younger one from a, a team in South America or something like that where the, where the football money is pretty low. Or even the Italian league. They're all bankrupt. They've all got money problems. Look elsewhere. £7.5 million if it needs to be done. Pardon me. If it needs to be done, it needs to be done. But that is an unbelievable amount of money just for a six-month loan fee. We've also got some paper news from Sky Sports, which it isn't the sort of most trustworthy, but of course it's paper news. We'll talk about it. It was posted by Sky News on their Twitter page. We'll not exactly exaggerate over it because, of course, it is paper news. Newcastle United are going to step up their interest in Manchester City's Calvin Phillips. This was wrote five hours ago as of recording and recording about one o'clock now. They hope a loan deal can be agreed swiftly once the January transfer window opens. I believe this deal may happen but of course we've just been hit with the news of a 7.5 million pound transfer loan fee unbelievable now just to quickly run over Calvin Phillips how many times he's played for Manchester City this season it's not great as we all know number one in the AFL Cup of course an early exit in Newcastle United St James's Park via a 1-0 goal through Alexander Isak he played the full 90 minutes he didn't do nothing. Look, as much as I would like to praise him because he, he may be a Newcastle United player, he was absolutely anonymous in that game. I didn't even take note of him, which I probably should have because, of course, he's been linked with Newcastle United so much. In the Champions League, four games, one start, I believe it was, an average of 33 minutes in the competition. What do we need to say about that? One goal, which I do believe came away at Red Star Belgrade. And of course, in the Premier League, averages 24 minutes a game. Four Premier League appearances for him. I don't know how many starts. I believe it's actually none, but I may be wrong. I want to back him as much as I can, and I do back him if he's a Newcastle United player. I'm, I'm very happy. We need a six. I like the look of Calvin Phillips. He can prove us all wrong, and if there's one man to turn a player around, no matter the form that we're on, it is Eddie Howe. We know he can transform a player like no other man. He's done it so many. I could honestly name about 20 players, and I'd probably get wrong that I didn't name the other five, because he's just done it so, so many players. I'm not going to mention any names, because he's done it in nearly every single one. I don't think there's been one player who hasn't improved since Eddie Howe's come here. Maybe sort of likes a Ryan Fraser, but of course he's out in Southampton. He's actually doing okay there, but of course he's not under the management of Eddie Howe. Them two have had bad blood before. But apart from that, Calvin Phillips may be a Newcastle United man in January. Would you take him at Newcastle United? Personally, I wouldn't be against it whatsoever. I like the player. We need a six. Is he going to be fit enough? Would he fit in Eddie Howe's system? 
Is he yet again going to be fit enough? Will he even pass his medical? We do not know. Full faith in the player. If he is a Newcastle United player though, 100% will back him because I'm looking forward to it as well. You let me know down below if you take him in Newcastle United. Without further ado, people, go and enjoy your day. Whatever you're doing, I've been Jordy Josh. Go and enjoy your day.